So the uh, core architecture uh, group has yesterday produced this figure where we kind of hand waved uh, uh, a lot of things uh, but at least there were some things that we uh, pretended to have decided um, that uh, I thought well today might be a good day to try to actually make those things work so one of them is that in this whole pipeline um, we kind of imply that there are various points where there would be need for a format conversion and uh, another thing is that um, we had this idea that it might be handy to actually uh, specify the behavior of the different tools in the pipeline using the uh, Galaxy uh, XML format for describing tools. So today I tried to uh, make some of that work and uh, so one thing that I did was to create a little uh, I guess shim surface that does the file translation um, and uh, I uh, stole the name that we kind of had in mind for a service like that uh, already namely Babelfish but then with a PHY for phylogeny and uh, here it is so it's actually a really simple uh, script that uh, takes four uh, arguments so an, uh, an input file and a deserializer which I guess is the input format and an out file and a serializer so the output format and uh, well it does the uh, conversion um, so that was easy uh, but then uh, how do we make it so that this runs inside Galaxy so I uh, read up a little bit about how these XML files work it's actually pretty straightforward so the Babelfish script is a Perl script so it's run by the Perl interpreter and the script name and it takes these arguments so here this sort of like template slots that we fill in the blanks here so these are sort of pull down menu options for inputs and outputs um, and then actually so for the output file there has to be some sort of switch where depending on what we selected the uh, uh, serializer you know might pick a different format um, so that wasn't all that hard um, but then now we have to fit it in with uh, Galaxy and uh, there's a couple of different uh, files that we uh, then need to modify and sort of through a trial and error I, I guess I figured out which ones those are um, so one of them is the uh, a great big XML file for uh, tools and so um, under the section for convert formats you just have to fill in the path to that babelfish.xml file so then that's read in um, when uh, Galaxy starts and then another thing is that we have to make Galaxy aware of some new data types um, so that has to go in another XML file this one where we have to say what extension we would like them to use and there has to be some sort of Python class that does something with these different data types now I, d I don't know any uh, Python but uh, just by kind of poking around in these files I guess I just did sort of the boilerplate that you're supposed to do uh, for uh, XML and um, then uh, I also uh, pulled out uh, pulled a new uh, file format out of thin air except uh, uh, Jeet and Kim also agreed it's a good idea so I guess it is and uh, so there's another format which is tabular a tabular format and that's kind of nice inside uh, Galaxy because Galaxy kind of views the world from a very tabular perspective um, and it is much easier to parse than uh, new strings so especially for very big tree descriptions it might be handy to do this namely this so this is a little tab delimited file where there's at least three columns the first column is an identifier for a child node the uh, second column is the parent node and the third column is the branch length um, and uh, so this is 
like an adjacency list of, of like, or, you know, like in a database, a tree would probably be stored kind of like this in a relational database. Um, and I implemented um, readers and writers for that in uh, Biophilo. So here there's a little description for how to uh, read and write that. Or at least this is how to uh, read it. And then here's how to uh, write it. Um, and uh, I guess those were pretty much all the uh, moving parts. And then when we start up uh, Galaxy, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes scrolling by and uh, when I read through it uh, it gives some uh, logging messages that uh, indicate that it's picked, picked up most of my intentions so I guess it's good enough um, so then when we go to my local instance of Galaxy just do a reload then we can do things like this. So I could upload a file and now in the list of file formats there's also this adjacency list format. I can choose a file and then do the upload. So this takes a little while. The Galaxy has this sort of queuing uh, system and so uh, while that's uh, happening I guess uh, we can then, oh here we go, here we go, there it comes, and you, so we can have a quick peek and you can see that this is just a little table, and so then we can um, go to convert formats, and so among these tools now is also our uh, Babelfish, and then we can, for example, take our uh, input file, which was the adjacency table, and we go to output. Well, for example, we could emit uh, an XML. So we did that. And then this is uh, now queued. And uh, There we go. All right, so now we can have a quick peek at that. And you can see that now it's turned the adjacency list into an XML. Uh, actually, when you, uh, if you look on, on this page here, it'll sort of say a little bit more about how we could also add uh, semantic annotations in this tabular format. So the thinking is that that's maybe something that we would like to do for provenance data and stuff like that. And then I guess there's one more thing to show you about this. Um, am I logged in? Yes. So uh, I think this is here. Oh yeah, so we could now turn this into a workflow. And so if I do that, and then I go here. Uh, Then we've got the workflow editor. So this is, you know, now we have one step of uh, oh, stay um, uh, of this whole pipeline. Uh, so now we need to, the tree store people to make their outputs sort of amenable to this architecture, and likewise the uh, TNRS and all the other stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This might be one way to do it all. Um, and there you have it. The end.